Welcome back to Let's Play Forbidden Siren, and this should be the final episode of Let's Play... I was about to say, Let's Play Let's Siren. <laughs> Let's Play a Forbidden Siren. Alright. <laughs> I'm too lazy to do another take of that. Whatever. This is all raw. Let's go. K Makino at Kojaku Peak, Hanunda Mine. Let's do this. And what is our mission objective 2 this time? Come on, hurry up. Defeat all Shibiru and reach Road to Floodgate. Isn't that what we did in the last, in the previous episode? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what to say. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess we're gonna just, just be doing the same thing as before. Not much <laughs> will change. <laughs> Kind of feels rather odd, but whatever. Okay, so uh, since everything's going to be the same as in the previous episode, I'm going to talk about what game I should probably let's play next. And I was thinking of uh, doing a Resident Evil game, and it's sh uh, if I should uh, start chronologically or not. Uh, I think I will. I'll start off with Resident Evil Zero. I was thinking, uh, should I do four, or should I start from zero to one, and all the way, you know, up to the recently, um, recent release of, uh, Resident Evil 7. So yeah, I think I'll just do just that, just play Resident Evil 0, and then I'll go from there. God, the hammer, <laughs> have I ever talked about how good the hammer is? It's freaking great. Look at that. I know I described that in the last episode, but I mean, come on. I, I honestly don't know what else to say about this level. I mean, other than that there's an archive up there that you could get, and it's kind of unique how you get it. You kind of have to, like, strike the air with your, with any, like, melee weapon. Yeah, it's, it's pretty weird. Alright, so, come over here, kill Risa. Dodge or hit. Doesn't <laughs> accept that one. Now we stick her to the ground. <laughs> Alright, we need to pick up the key for the siren shack. And just go back the way we came. So if I'm correct, I do I do believe we only need like two more missions in the game left. There is another mission where I haven't done a uh, mission objective two, but it, I've already gone through it. So there's only two new le two new levels left, and I'm probably gonna be doing them all in this episode. May as well. Why did I press that first? I have no idea. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna go kill Mina. We're gonna kill her with the pistol. Cause that's it's just a lot easier like that. There we go. Reconnect the wires. And we blow her the hell up. It's that simple. <laughs> all right so now we get out of here i mean that's everything that's all the shibidu they're gone they're they're not gonna get back up and from here we just go to the floodgates i mean just the same thing we did last episode it, i i Again, where did I get these explosives? I haven't even done Mission Objective 2 for that level yet. God, when I get there, you'll see what I mean. It's so freaking weird. Because essentially, I did Mission Objective 2 twice. You kind of have to. 
Because if you don't, this bottle's gonna kill you with the freaking trolley. I don't know. It's not even that big of a deal. It's just weird. Flames of eternity. In exchange for my life. Okay, so I don't know if you fully grasped this yet, but that was not K. I, I think that should have been obvious. I, <laughs> that was not K Makino. That was actually Shiro uh, dressing up as his brother. As you saw in the previous scene back at the intersection, it kind of made it seem like he shot himself, but no, he pretty much uh, killed his own brother and then took his clothes. Because apparently he was, like, jealous of him, or envied him. Yeah, pretty weird, rocky relationship. And, oh. This level. Inferno. Alright. This is the final level of the game. How did you get here? It was you. The one who stole the fruit. The fruit. Sure. <laughs> I, I only know so much about the story, so I, uh, sometimes I'm confused. Like, what does she mean by the freaking fruit? Uh, I'll probably do a bonus episode on that. Alright, so... <laughs> Dada Sushi is pretty much the main antagonist of this game, and... Yeah, he's the final boss. So we gotta defeat Dada Sushi. Sorry. But I promised Miyako. I... I have to finish it. <gasps> okay. So you saw that's June. That's one of the part of the Kajiro family. But the reason why he's a Shibidu is because, well, he doesn't have the same blood as Miyako's because he was adopted. <laughs> oh crap, I, could, I can't even see him. Like, this is pretty ridiculous. But yeah, you gotta hide behind these weird, um, penis pillars. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way you can avoid his shots. And then when he comes out, when he pops his head out, that's when you shoot him, or whenever he's running away. God, I cannot see. I I knew to get closer to the TV. I'm sorry. Give me a second. How much ammo do I have? Eh, more than enough. Okay. But, yeah, I need to reload. So now we are in this other dimension. I really don't know. There you go. Uh, this guy isn't too bad. Really, just don't go out in the open where he could see you. Oh crap. <laughs> Take your saw each other at the same time. <laughs> Alright, I don't know where he's gonna pop out from. There you go. 
But he's not dead yet. Not quite yet. Okay, so when he has the Homonogami sword, I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Like, I have trouble pronouncing it. Uh, the katana. Uh, you just run away from him. As long as you can, just run away. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Here, here it is. Yeah, you pretty much just gotta wait for the Udigun to activate. Yeah, now we can kill him. Oh, crap. It's right behind me. I was gonna say, uh, th while this is the final level, we, uh, this is, uh, we, we still can't beat the game like this. We still have another level we haven't even gotten to yet. And another ah. one where we still- Oh crap! Where we still have to do, uh, Mission Objective 2. Yeah, oh my god, he slashed me in the ass. And he laughs like a douche. Alright, we'll just do it again, no problem. Sorry. Oh crap, we have to do the gun battle again. Oh Christ, man. I'll, I'll, I'll cut this out. Alright, so let's try this again. Try not to die this time. Really do not want to do that sniper fight again. Where is he? Oh crap. Right there. Alright, so you gotta time this right. There you go. Yeah, you kind of have to do a little bit of timing on your part. In order to get him in the flames. Pick it up. Yeah, the Homura Nagai. Homura Nagi. I, I don't know. Japanese is not good. I can't wait any longer. <laughs> the Take flowers are clipping through her dress. The master who brings us paradise. Give me strength. It doesn't give you paradise, you just screwed up the whole village! <gasps> Alright, that is that Asushi, that weird alien thing. And he saw us. But we can't see him, you know what? Because he's a freaking visible! As you see, grabs me. This weird <laughs> freaking stomach thing. What do we go here to this little stone? Uh, we can see where he's where he's coming. As you see, he kind of appears and then disappears. He's trying as hard as to get me, and I think I'm gonna die. No, that didn't kill me. Okay. So yeah, you kind of have to use the stone. So you know where he's coming from. Oh crap, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about that too. Uh, Miyako's here. When you side jack, she points in the direction where you kind of need to go. She tells you that, hey, this, the pyramid, um, I think this is called the monostone. It's over here. So as you can see, she's right there. Freaking jerk, you tried to kill me. Yeah, now we're side jacking him. We can see where he's at. He's right in front of us, so we're going to go ahead and hit him. There you go. Screw him up. Freaking kill this dude. He's freaking disgusting. Yeah, he's not too hard of a final boss, really. I think his concept and story is cool, but as a final boss, he's just... Yeah, he's not difficult. See, there you go. He's he's dead. That's it. Like an alien god thing. It's the only way to describe him. You can call it a god all you want. It's really just some freaking animal from... Space. <laughs> That's it. Mission accomplished. All right. 
But like I said, we're not quite done yet. Yep. And it takes us back to that cutscene. Yeah, like I said, we're not going to see that until we're completely done. Go back to stage select. Alright, so there should be only two more levels. There's still one I have not done. And it's, I believe it's right there with some one. So we need to go to K's. Or, I should just say Shiro, since I think at this point we kind of know that it's Shiro just dressing up as his dead brother. How are you, Dory? Alright, so this one's relatively easy. I, I already know where to go. I shouldn't even need to show you on the map. I'll just go straight to it. And it's acquire explosives. Now, you see why I was kind of, like, confused? Because we gotta get the explosive from here. In order to do his last level, which is over here at Kojaku Peak in the mines, we needed to destroy the tunnel. But he already had it. You would have think that the that mission two would be locked until you got the explosives from this level. Jesus Christ! I don't know what happened. That it, it just it's just really weird. Do we have any spare ammunition? Yeah, we do. But I think the hammer's better, to be honest, with the spider shibido. So I'm just gonna use the hammer. So we'll go down this way. We're going to the whale. Alright, so the whale's down here somewhere. There it is, it's down there. So if we get next to the whale, we can tie the rope next to it. So we could wrap rappel down it. Remember, he got that rope back in day one from uh, K Makino. He found it in the storage shed in Arato. Like his first level. It's in the same area you find the face towel, so yeah. Uh, if we climb up here, you can hear there's a Shibito up there just talking to himself. He's probably gonna hit us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but he's not he's not a problem all right so right here and these boxes are the dynamite or the grenades yeah they're grenades dynamite <laughs> there you go so that's our last time playing as Shiro because as you saw he's dead he gave his life so that the uh, failed Shibito could just um, die? Yeah. <laughs> Correct. So that they didn't have to live forever. It's pretty much his reason, and that's his redemption, too. <laughs> yep. Alright, so we're now going to go to the last new level of the game. There it is. 10 p.m., day 3, with Tamon Takuchi. Oh, th th this level's a doozy. <laughs> it really is. Tamon. Huh? Tamon. Alright, so Tamon's last mission. Is fine charred remains. Not too exciting. I really do like the music to this level. It's really kind of just mesmerizing. 
kind of gives you the sense like yeah like stuff is gonna happen <laughs> and as you see we still have our steel pipe but we do not have a flashlight we lost it and you're never gonna find one either there is no flashlight in this level I think this this is the only level where you do not get a flashlight you're completely at the mercy of the darkness <laughs> all right so we start here uh, we're still in a lot though we're just in a different part so the, there's a garden, there's a scrap material yard, there's the floodgate, Sanja Bridge, and the central intersection, which is where we need to get to. Trust me, this is not a long level by any means. It's pretty short. Let's go. Let's go. I'm sorry if you can't see, that's just this level. Actually, let's sidejack first for a little bit, and there is a bottle right there. Uh oh Does that person look familiar to you? Yeah, you'll see in a minute. Okay. Let's go then. Huh? Uh oh. Oh, Mihama. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is what happened to Mihama. Sorry, it was a Shibiru. Now yeah, she's a spider. And she's kind of tough. Takes a lot. Ow. There we go. <laughs> Alright, get out of the way, Mihama. Climb over here. There's a platform over here. I think. Where is it? Yeah, I can't. I cannot see. Okay, it's over here, off to the right. Go down here. Uh, I think we kind of want to stop right here and shout. Hey. Because you do want to attract this beetle Shibiru over here, or spider Shibiru. There it is. Yeah, you want to take this guy out because there's another Shibiru over there. And with this one around, it's just going to cause problems. Kato, freaking hamburger face over here. So what happened to her? Yeah, as you can see, she takes quite a lot of punishment. But nevertheless, she's down. And look, she dropped the tape uh, that back when she got on day one. Yeah, we actually don't even need to pick it up right now. We just leave it there. We'll pick it up in a minute, because I'm pretty sure we're going to do Mission Objective 2 just right after doing this one. So we go over here through this little narrow pathway and that's it not, not much to it mm -hmm. this is yeah it's Shiro's coat all right Okay, this is showing us how Kyoya got into the inferno. Miyako, you're here. I'm always right here. See, Kyoya? Come, over here. No, how? Just open the mirror gate. How? <laughs> And that's how I got him. And again, so it's gonna take me to the last level. Or last cutscene. Second to the last cutscene, I mean. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, we're not gonna watch that yet. Alright, stage select, and we're just gonna do uh, Takauchi's last level again. Where is it? There it is. Alright, so mission objective 2 is... Reach Takauchi residence! Alright, that's really cool. We're gonna go to his house! <laughs> Alright, so things are going to be done a little different this time. But ne nevertheless, it, uh, this is not a very long level in the slightest. You still can't see. There's just... no, there, there's no light source in this level at all. Alright, so we're going to beat up Mihama again. Or I, I believe we can also ignore her, but just kill her. What the hell was she eating? G gas cylinders? <laughs> okay. Alright, so the way, um... The way we're supposed to go is down here, but... We do need to get something. And that is the... What is it? The cassette tape from, uh... I was gonna hey! say Tomoko. What? No. Mrs. Takato. We need to get that cassette tape because we're gonna need it. Well, I don't think we really do need it, but it, it does make things easier for us. Alright. Let's beat the crap out of her. And then we're gonna take the tape. We're gonna jack her. No! Oh. Hit you in your hamburger face. Stupid lady. Alright. There's our cassette tape. I'm gonna pick it up. Okay. So now let's head back. Uh, excuse me, where am I at? Okay. We're gonna need to go over here to this, um... Wait, where is it? Yeah, it's right here. We need to go in here, and this is where Kiyoya got the floor jack, by the way. Now we can go upstairs. And we need to drop this, this signboard here. So that we can break the boards. There you go. Now we got a new route to go to. And also, this place is um, drained of water because you remember uh, Kiyoya drained all the water here. Also, an interesting thing to know: um, all of Day Three's Day Three's missions are always at that freaking night. Well, not always at night. Like the first few are like in the very morning, early hours, so it's still dark, and the rest are just all awake at night, except for. Uh, K's like mission at what what is it at seven o'clock? Yeah, his is like um like uh in the evening? Yeah. Alright, so There's a spider tributor right there. And then there's a sniper. Yeah the, the yeah, this is like the last sniper we're ever gonna see in the game. Kinda of weird considering everyone else here is just spiders and beetles. Alright, so if I remember correctly, he's up there. And what we have to do is knock a signboard over in the most contrived way ever. <laughs> it's it's pretty silly, but yeah, like I said, I don't think you do need to do it this way, it just helps. Because it, it allows you to push the sign over. Yeah, see, it's right here. You can knock it over, or you can tie tape to it. Yes, you're gonna tie the, <laughs> the music tape to it. 
Very flimsy tape, I might add. You would think that would tear, but it doesn't. Alright, so now that we tied it, we're gonna go ahead and pull it down. Wonder if I could, I could jump off from here. I, I should be able to, yeah. Yeah, there we go. The tape is on the floor. We're gonna pull it. Alright, so now we just make our way to the other ladder over here. He's gonna go check out what just happened, and yep, yeah, just slip by unnoticed. Because if we do come up here, I believe he'll just see you, shoot you off the ladder. <laughs> Climb up this platform here, and the end of the level is just right up ahead. That's it. We're gonna reach his house. Should be up here. Yeah, here it is. Takuchi Residence. Alright. Mission 2 accomplished. And we only have one more mission left in the entire game, everyone. This is it. This is the big one. That's <laughs> why. <laughs> Father. Oh. <laughs> All right. So Tomon's resur—not uh, resurrected, but you know, reunited with his parents. Sort of. You'll see what happens. No, we're not watching that damn game. All right. So our last level. You know which one it is. Freaking Inferno. Yes, have we done everything? Yes. Everything's done. Last level. Final mission. Let's go. We're gonna go ahead and skip that. We've already seen it. Okay, mission objective two, decapitate that Asushi. <laughs> he got to chop his freaking head off. But I promised Miyako, I, I have to finish it. All right, so we're gonna have the same battle as before. <sighs> With you, I, I, hey, <laughs> come on, man. <sighs> Oh, what? What a dick! Alright, so he's gonna be over here. Hope I get this. No, oh, come on, dude. Suck my butt, freaking June. Alright. Let's not die again, please. Alright. Oh, no! Come on, Zoom, leave me alone. Alright, line it up. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And the cutscene should be different this time, actually. But Karudin should reunite with the sword. There it is. Beautiful. All right. I can't wait any longer. 
take this body. The master who brings us paradise. Give me strength. It doesn't bring you paradise. <laughs> Come on. Make the people of your village slaves to his will. He's a jackass. Alright, now we just need to cut off his head. Oh crap, he's right there. Miyako will help me. Did I say Miyako? No, we don't want... Who? Oh yeah, that is her name. I'm sorry. I was thinking of a soccer. Oh. My bad. Alright, there it is. Uh, we don't exactly want to hit him with the sword just yet. Kind of, uh, oh crap. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not good. Kind of want to hit him with the, the Udian. Get out of here. Damn. Want to hit him with the Udian two times, and then for the final strike, we'll hit him with the Bermuda guy. Right, so that's one. There we go, that's two. And for our last, we're gonna equip the Kajun. The <laughs> I was gonna say the Kojima family heirloom. <laughs> Mr. Kojima! There you go. Wow, that actually did not kill him. There you go. You kinda have to wait for the uh, the sword to be charged up with the power, or else it's just gonna do a regular hit. Which doesn't do much damage. That character arc that Kiyoya has, man, from being like a freaking like, what do I do? To just, ah, it just chops his head off. All right. Hurumi Yomoda, okay. All right, so this is it, guys. I mean, it's just cutscenes left. That's it. Everything's going to fall apart. This is the end. Bye, Yusako. And the end, Reiko saved her. Yeah, I'm not sure who that was right there who was walking toward her. It... Huh. Couldn't be Shiro because I believe he's dead. So, yeah. Yoya. Fortunately, he's stuck in this other dimension, so yeah. And so are they. <laughs> Professor, it's no time to be playing happy families. Father. Come on! Father. And we'll never... We'll never know what happened to them. Harumi, as you see, she's back in the real world. Orumi is the only survivor of this game. Well, technically there's still Kiyoya and Tamon, but Tamon is up for debate. Yeah, that was a helicopter. That was the Japanese ground de self-defense force that's coming to pick her up. Yeah, the credits. So yeah, uh, Kiyoya's still stuck in, yeah, the underworld or whatever, because he, he was in contact with the red water, uh, and he got, uh, what was it, Miyaku's blood in him, so he can never leave. So he's just gonna stay there until he dies, I guess.
in Tamon, it's pretty much speculated that he's, like, right at the very end, he's turning into a Chibidu. But we never see what happens. Same thing with his, um, with his student, Yoriko. I don't think she's gonna become a Shibiru because, she, um, if you remember, she got, a, like, a blood transfusion from Kiyoya. So, she pretty much has Miyako's blood in her, too, so she's just never gonna turn. And there's Kishiro Toyama's name. Great man, great, those great games. But yeah, this is the end of the game, <laughs> and the, that was Siren, that was Forbidden Siren. <laughs> I mean, my initial, uh, what is it? Oh, that's cool, the water. My initial uh, reaction to first playing this game was... <laughs> I would just laugh at this game, I don't know why, I just found it so jarring. I'll probably talk about that more in a bonus video, like a retrospective, what were my initial thoughts, so yeah, I'll go back, I'll go into that more in that video. Because, uh, yeah, we're done with the story, but we're not quite done yet, because I did want to show where all the archive items are, so yeah, that will be in the bonus videos, if I decide to release them in multiple. So yeah, that is Forbidden Siren, and I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.